Today we're making carrot cake. Come on in, welcome to my home. It's almost Mother's Day. And so for Mother's Day, I thought I'd do something different and special. So I thought I would make carrot cake. Now all the ingredients are listed down below in the description. It is so easy to make and this is just a simple carrot cake. You can change it up, add a few things and I'll tell you about those as we go along. But let's get started first. We're going to start with our dry ingredients. I have flour. To that I'm going to add baking soda and cinnamon. I'm going to give that a quick stir. Sit this off to the side. Now we're going to start with our oils and sugars and all those fun things. I don't want to have to beat my eggs, so I'm going to have the mixer do that. I'm also going to add my salt right now. Then I'm going to add my sugar. Now if you want to use half uh, brown sugar and half granulated sugar, that's fine. This is all raw sugar. To that, I'm going to add coconut oil. If you do not have coconut oil, you could use just all olive oil. And then my olive oil. Putting this on low, we're now going to add our dry ingredients. You want to mix that till it's just incorporated. Now, vanilla. While that's going, I'm adding my carrots, because of course this is a carrot cake. And then my pecans. Now everything is mixed together. Give it a final scrape. Now in here I have parchment paper. It, it, this is just a cake pan. It has been heavily sprayed and I have it lined at the bottom with parchment paper. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I'm just going to evenly do the batter. My batter is evenly distributed in the two cake pans. Now I'm going to take this over to the oven and bake it for about 35 to 45 minutes until a cake tester stuck into the center comes out clean. All right, I let my cakes cool for about 15 minutes before I do this. I'm going to run a spatula around the edge and then invert it on a cooling rack. It's that simple. Now the important part about this is we have to let these now cool completely before we ice them. My carrot cake layers have cooled. I'm going to place it onto a plate. This is my cream cheese frosting, yes. You will see an episode where I make cream cheese frosting. However, it won't be anytime soon, simply because I hadn't planned on making this. I was just asked for it while I was making the carrot cake, but it will come up, I promise. When it does, I'll link it up there. But right now, we're going to spread on a nice thin layer of the cream cheese frosting. This is basically like a naked cake. Now we'll take our second layer, place it on top, and then put the rest of the cream cheese frosting on. The nicest part about doing a kind of this kind of naked cake, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you've watched my channel for very long, you'll know that I'm not about perfection. I'm about making sure it tastes good. And there it is. Our carrot cake is done. It was that easy. You can do your carrot cake in no time. It is so good. No, I'm not going to cut into it. Yes, I will show you a picture when I do cut into it, simply because this is for Mother's Day. And we're doing our Mother's Day early, simply because I did make this cake. But yes, this is one of those great and wonderful things. And <laughs> I hope that you do make this. If you do, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.